Guys, it's Ray Alvarez, Shoot with Ray, and today we're shooting with a special guest. What's up, guys? I'm Emily Alexandra Guglamo, and I highly, highly recommend Ray. Oh. <laughs> you guys, he's incredible, super quick and efficient, in and out, and you get to actually see Woo. Look at right that. then and there. With the iPad and everything. Yeah. We're shooting Emily today. We're doing some headshots. We're doing some simple lighting, simple backdrops. We have one light over here. That's the 8200 with a seven foot parabolic umbrella. I'm using the C8, Cheetah Stand C8. I'll tell you more about that in another video. But yeah, we're working together and I'm gonna start breaking down the lighting, start breaking down the setup. I love it, Yay. Yes, yes. All right guys, so we're using the pink backdrop by Savage. I mean, I've, I've beat this thing up, but that's okay. That's what AI editing is for. Leave that for another video. We're using the 200 watt strobe, just one. So it's 200 watts and an impact seven foot parabolic umbrella. We're using the cheetah stand, C10, and a few C stands back there to just hold up the pink backdrop. guys so let's break it down just a little bit the backdrop that i used which was the pink one was a little bit you know wonky it was a little ripped up and stuff like that that's totally fine i'm big on being minimal and just using what you have and working with what you have so yes it was a little ripped but i have to remind you guys that i edit in post so that means that i'm going to be editing the pictures i'm going to be removing blemishes and ripped parts and extending the backdrop and all sorts of things in post i have all sorts of different softwares that i use for editing such as evoto such as imagine so many that help me with that stuff to make it quick and easy so that way I can go ahead, take these photos, import them, edit them, deliver them to my client, and everybody's happy. So real quick recap, I used two C stands to hold up the backdrop. It's a trick that I learned many, many years ago. Instead of setting up two stands for your backdrop, either way, they both work. You can do whatever works for you. We did the first portion of the photo shoot with one light. I have white ceilings, I have white walls, there's a lot of bouncing involved, so some of that light that spills around the walls in my living room slash kitchen, it's an open concept house, so that does help a little bit, but not too much. As I mentioned before, we used an 8200, we used a seven foot parabolic umbrella, and we used the C8 and the C10 cheetah stand light stands. You're gonna love these, watch. Give me one sec, let me just finalize it. I'm gonna have you step back just like two inches, right there, perfect. So let's step back just a little bit, right there, and then now go ahead with that movement shot. And that would be a perfect spot. So then we'll lower this hand a little bit more, right there. And then when you're doing it, you're actually looking back this way. Go ahead, go for it. We also used the five by seven Westcott X-Drop. When Emily first reached out to me about this photo shoot and we discussed details, she explained to me that it was just for content, it was just for some social media stuff and some other websites. Meaning it was going to be a light shoe, it was gonna be simple, there isn't too much creativity involved, just some nice colors in the background and some general lighting. To me, it's a very simple photo shoot. After everything was said and done with setup and breakdown and light tests and everything, the whole photo shoot lasted about an hour. We were able to squeeze in three or four outfits. To me, that's amazing. If you have any questions at all about the lighting, the backdrop, the process, the settings that I didn't mention in this video, Drop them down in the comments. I would love to answer those questions. I'm really, really big on that. I'm here to help you guys out. I want you guys to learn. And if by answering questions, I can help you guys out, then that's a good day for me.
All right, so you guys see that I pulled out the iPad so that way Emily can review the pictures that we were taking throughout the photo shoot. That's really important. I know I speak about that in a lot of my other videos, but it's super, super important to review those images with your clients to make sure that they're happy. You don't want them going home, looking at the pictures later, and they're like, no, this is not what I wanted. I don't like the vision. I don't like how this came out. Make sure your clients are happy. Provide them with an experience. I have a video on that that's gonna show up right up here. You can watch that video and then learn a little bit more as to why I use an iPad during my photo shoots. If you go back to my channel, you can also find three videos that I've made on how to sync your iPad to your Nikon camera, Sony camera, or Canon camera. That way you can review with your clients. Guys, we just finished and wrapped up the photo shoot with Emily. Shout out to Emily for working with me, for selecting me to be her photographer for her content and exactly what she needed to create. Emily, Kay, and I, we all became friends as of about two years ago when my photographer friend, Manny the Bear, Manny, Manny Okindo, shout out to you, Manny. Uh, he introduced us, he's a mutual friend of ours, he's a photographer, a great photographer as well. If you are looking to work with a model just like Emily, then you need to check out my video about how to find a model for photo shoots. It's a video that shows you what places you can go and look for models to work with, but I'll leave that for the video. That You gotta watch it, you gotta watch in order to understand and learn about it, right? So it's gonna show up here in your screen in a few seconds. Again, thank you so much for tuning in, thank you so much for watching. You guys, I appreciate your support all the time. Thank you for watching.